All right, first and foremost, I want to say Kalalal, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, Akar, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Grimmel's Stone and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in all um, sincerity and in truth. And the brother Yahya from James Kings in Jamaica camp here once again with a quick lesson, um, hoping to edify the elect of the nation of Israel, right? I hope the, hope the Heavenly Father gives me the words to express the knowledge of this truth. Right? So without further ado, we're going to go into the second date. What is the second date and who will the second date um, um, go for? Right? So we're going to start off with the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. It says, Know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Right? So this was a message unto the church um, of Smyrna. Right? Because it says in verse 8 and it says unto the in and the, unto the angel the church of Smyrna. Unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, right? These things say the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. Right? So this is all, was a message written unto the church of Smyrna. But in the spirit it is um for no. Because the scriptures right now is being represent uh, um is representing what is happening right now so you say i know thy works and tribulation and poverty but thou art rich speaking about them that are part of the faith you understand they are rich in faith you understand so it says i know and i know the blasphemy of them we see they are jews and are not right representing the ones over there in the middle east which are they are the ones who have basically laid claim to the land of israel Right? They are being blasphemous because they are not they are not speaking the truth of the scriptures. You understand? They are denying who the true people of the Heavenly Father are. They are the ones who have been our are promoting gay parades and basically speaking a lot of blasphemous things. Right? So it says, I know the blasphemy of them who say they are Jews, that is in itself a blasphemy, because they are not Jews. So it says, and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. Right? It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Right? Because what? We're going to suffer a lot of advers adversities for the truth's sake. You understand? It says, so fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life, right? So be thou faithful unto death, man. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahushai will give us a crown of life. You understand? So, okay, give me a second. Come, right? So be thou faithful unto death. All when these tribulations are coming upon, coming upon us. You're going to have um, a lot of brothers losing their jobs in this time, right? You're going to have a lot of tribulation coming from family members saying that you're an idiot. Or if you lose a job because you don't want to take a job, if you understand what I say, you understand? You're going to have your, 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 your wives and kids coming up against you. A lot of brothers are going to lose their businesses, lose their, their, their livelihood, you understand? But the scripture says what? Be thou faithful unto death, because these are the tribulations that we must face. Right? The scripture says, Through much tribulation shall he enter in um into the kingdom of heaven. The book the book also speaks in the book of um Second Ezra chapter seven tells you about um the narrow path that you have to travel before you get into the wide, which is basically the kingdom. Right? So you have to suffer these things before you can enter into the rest of your Ba Shem Shai. Right? So it says, be thou faithful unto death, right? even to the point of death, strive for the truth, right? and I will give thee a crown of life. It says, he that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcome it shall not be hurt of the second death. Right? So he that overcome it shall not be hurt of the second death. Right? He that overcome all of these tribulations. He that has endured and has basically stand firm for the, for the, for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and for the truth's sake, right, shall not be heard of the second death. So it begs the question, what is the second death, right? Well, we're going to figure, find out. 
right? Because when you jump to the book of um, Revelation chapter 20, Revelation chapter 20, verse 14, it says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, right? So death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death, man. You understand? That is basically representing the terminal nuclear fires that will be shot upon the earth, right? The second death basically is, is um, the world being perished through fire and brimstone, which is a terminal nuclear fire, right? So when you jump from there to the book of, um, I think it's 2 Peter chapter 3, it says, uh, we're not going to start now. All right, let me start a verse. One, well, let's get to points. Verse 5. It says, For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflooded with water perished. Right? So the world that then was was overflooded. Was overflooded with water, and that is basically the first death. Right? The, the time when the Heavenly Father um, punished the earth and saved um, Noah and his family by the, by the flood. Right? And they perished. You understand? Um, Second Peter's 3 verse. Alright. Right? So they perished. It says, But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men so the first there was the flood which basically cleansed the earth right from all the ungodly deeds that was happening at the time before the flood right and now the, the, this earth this current world is reserved unto fire right against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men Right? But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand year, and a thousand year as one day. Right? Yes, let me jump down a little bit more. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right? Speaking about the terminal of the fire, because that is what's going to happen. And the earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. Right? So all the works that are in the earth right now, they're going to burn up, man. You understand? Especially mainly America. You understand? Our allies them are fire, terminal nuclear war, war is on them and America and burn America to the to the dust, man. You understand? You can read about that in the book of Isaiah 34. Right? You can read about it in also Revelation 18. When it's talk about the um America is going to be struck down by fire. You understand? And that is what's going to happen. And while all of this is taking place, what was going to happen to the children of Israel? They are going to be delivered. Um, the elect of the children of Israel are going to be delivered via the chariots. The scriptures speak about a sea of glass. Right? Let me get that. Because that is, that is what's um, about to come. Alright. So this is the book of Revelation chapter 15 verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven. Great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled in is filled up the wrath of God. Right? Basically speaking about the, the plagues that are about to come upon the earth, mainly the terminal of the fire, which is to cleanse the earth of the wickedness and the, and its evil rules, rulers, men. Right? For proof that we're gonna get down um, the book of Zechariah. Um Zechariah chapter fifteen, very fourteen, it's lucky. Fourteen verse twelve, quickly. It says, and this shall be the plague wherein, wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouths. 
and it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and the hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. Right? So basically he's talking about the devastating impacts of the terminal nuclear fire on life and on, on, on the life forms of the earth. Man. Understand all of them will come into contact with the terminal nuclear fire, they basically be evaporated. Man. So what is going to happen to the lake? What will happen to the lake in all these times when these things are happening? Right? Them that give give diligence to me, they call in an election sure. Whatever happened to them? The scripture will tell you. It says, And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. Right? Pretty much describing the visuals from the chariots. Right? So you're gonna basically be in the chariots looking down on the earth, basically when the earth is being when the earth is being bombarded with with, 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 with fire. Right? So you're gonna see basically like a lake of fire, man. Right? And them that had gotten the victory over the beast. Right? We already know what the beast is, which is NATO and EU. Right? And over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of God. So all of them basically had endured the tribulation of the times which is about to come upon them. They are going to be delivered by, by fire. You have some of us that will be put to death. Right? For being um, witnesses. Of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's word, right? And you have some of us basically is going to endure unto the end and will be delivered by the chariots, man. But what is going to happen unto them that did not um that did not overcome, that did not endure unto the end? The scriptures is going to answer you, right? So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, right? Revelation 21, verse 8. It says, but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and who are mongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake of lake which burn with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Right? Verse 7. He that overcome it shall inherit all things and i will be his god and he shall be my son but them will not overcome them will continue in them ways of evil right and basically abomination them are gonna have them part with what the second death man so with that hope that this lesson was edifying unto the elect of the nation of israel i want to say kalalal yahawah bashem yahushai bashem karakwadash and um double honest to the elders and apostles of great Stone. Um, anyone that has a question that they need to pose, just post it in the description box. Slack here. Post it in the comments. Anybody have follow up precept, just post it in the comments. Right? Questions I'll answer in particular videos that um I'll be doing next. Right? So with that I'll just